गुड मर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अच्छा मक टेस्ट पेपर आई डिसकस नाउ ओके एंड यूर आई गेट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स गेटिंग वेरी लेस मार्क्स इन मैथ्स मॉक टेस्ट पेपर मेनी मिस्टेक्स आर देयर सो सिंपल क्वेश्चन इज गिवन बट नो बडी डन प्रॉपर्ली व्हाई हार्ड पेपर so easy paper i make very easy paper and this type of question will come in exam keep in mind when board exam uh, this type of question you will get and this is so uh, gst first question is what uh, first question is given that is gst which is collected by the state government of interstate transaction is known as CGST, SGST, IGST, all of these. Here, no, see, state government of for inter uh, state transaction is given. So all of you know this is SGST is there, no? If you are written IGST, why? So this is interested standard uh, transaction is given. Okay. So within state, suppose. मिन्नापुर टू कोलकाता, मिन्नापुर टू खोलपुर, within state, okay, so it will be SGST, understood? So first question, option that is, option is the CGST, SGST, IGST and all of these, that is answer is CGST. Okay, first question. And the second question is there. A dealer in Agra bought some goods worth rupees twelve thousands. If the rate of GST is eighteen percent, then the amount paid by the dealer. So look at here. Here GST is given eighteen percent. Okay. The question number uh, one I am discussing question number two rupees one two zero zero okay of eighteen percent eighteen by hundred okay eighteen by hundred then amount of GST amount of GST so amount of GST is there. One two zero zero uh, that is twelve thousand into eighteen eighteen percent is given so eighteen by hundred okay so it will be one two zero into eighteen so right here zero six uh, Two one, okay. Two thousand one six zero, okay. So the amount paid by the dealer, amount paid by dealer. Rupees. So this part is GST. The value of the goods twelve thousand. Okay. So twelve thousand plus two one six zero zero six one four one. So fourteen thousand one hundred sixty. Fourteen thousand one hundred sixty. So yes, look at here. Second option is given. Okay. This second option is given. So answer will be fourteen thousand one hundred sixty. Okay. I recall what I was recalling to you next time. Question number three. Recalling to you it. So all of you the formula keep in mind. Formula everybody remember. That is interest P n into n plus one by two r by hundred one by twelve. So here uh, total 
amount uh, that is principal is given 4000 monthly deposit 4000 time is given one and a half years so you convert into month okay so one year means 12 month 12 another is 6 okay so it will be 18 18 month so just you put the value question number 3 interest p n into n plus 1 by 2 r by 100 into 1 by 12 just put the value we are 4000 18 into 19 that is uh, 2 into 100 into 12 and r is given 6 percent into 6 into 6 just after calculation we will get uh, just interest okay the interest you will receive at the time of maturity so interest after calculation you will get repeats 3420 3420 is the interest here first option is correct first option is given 3420 second option 3240 third option 3150 fourth option 3110 so first option is correct answer Okay. Next one. So next one, it's so a new question is there, very important question, this type of question you get, okay, here is given for real numbers, x, y, z given, x greater than y, question number 4, x greater than y is given, okay, and it is possible when, that is, given xz less than yz if x greater than y then question number question is that xz less than yz now look at here here x greater than y x should be positive okay always greater than sorry x greater than y now when if we multiply an other real number see see it will be change so x z less than y z when it is possible if z greater than 0 it positive z less than 0 z equal to 0 none of these now look at here z cannot be equal to 0 because we cannot multiply both the sides 0 it is not possible okay we cannot multiply zero both the sides and z greater than zero it is also wrong because here given xz less than yz x greater than y suppose keep in mind suppose i am writing five greater than three any real number suppose minus to multiply both the sides if we multiply say so it will be minus to 5 and here is minus to 3 so look at here here is minus 10 here is minus 6 two numbers which is uh, greater number obviously this one so see this is change when you multiply any 
negative number, so this part will be always change. Keep in mind. Okay. So look at here. Here x greater than y is given. Okay. Here is given x greater than y. And x z less than y z when it is possible. If z is negative integer, then we have to multiply it. Okay. Non zero, not equal to zero. Option is not there. So z is be negative. So here we have to multiply it. z equal to negative number is there. That is, that is why. So this relation is satisfied when z less than zero. Understood? Z less than zero. Okay. Now question number five. The quadratic equation with solution set is given. Question number five. Solution set is given that is two minus three. That is one called equation. The answer is two and minus three. Okay. Then what is the equation? So equation keep in mind always x right x direct x minus two x plus three if you write equal to zero. See if you write the sign change x plus three equal to zero, x equal to minus three here minus three is there and x equal to if we write x equal to is given, so x minus 2 equal to then x equal to 2. Now you have to multiply, this to multiply. See, x square minus twice x plus thrice x minus 6 equal to 0. So x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0. See, this is the answer. So here, C, uh, C option C is correct answer. Option C is correct answer. Okay. x minus 2 and x plus 3, when any number is given, 2 minus 3 is there. Suppose alpha beta is given, wait one minute. Suppose two roots are there. Suppose alpha beta and two roots are there. Alpha beta. Then what is the equation? Just remember. So x minus alpha into x minus beta equal to zero and multiply it. Suppose two roots are given alpha and minus beta. Then x plus alpha into x plus beta equal to zero. Understood? Suppose um, alpha minus beta is given. Two roots are there. What is the equation? Then x minus alpha into x plus beta equal to 0 and you have multiplied. Okay. So in that case, here is uh, C option, C is correct answer. Okay. The next one. So next term, you know, from ratio proportion, so very easy sum, ratio proportion. If the antecedent of the ratios 5 is to 7 is given, is 35, then what is the consequent? First, a ratio all of you know, that is first part and second part, if you write. New man by denominator, any ratio suppose, here is given, though suppose x by y. So this is known as antecedent numerator and denominator is known as consequent. Suppose x by y given, x by y is given here 5 by 7. Okay. And antecedent, the value of x is given here 35. So 35 by y equal to 5 by 7. So obviously say, 5y 
equal to 35 into 7. So y equal to 35 into 7 by 5. Cancel, so it will be 49 answer. 49 answer. Understood? The answer will be 49. Here is the 49, 50, 56, 60. So very easy sum. A maximum students done. Okay. Maximum students done this one. This is correct answer. Achha, another sum is showing. Wait one minute. Wait. The next one, it's a very important sum, and this sum I have already discussed many times. I discussed this one in live class. Okay, but most of the students wrong mistake. They have done mistakes. Why? This is concept. This type of sum you will get in exam. Keep in mind. Okay. So all of you quality question to general form is no ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero a not equal to zero keep it in mind so here question is given kx square plus sorry minus 7kx plus 49 equal to zero is given for what value of k the equation has equal root. It has equal root. Okay. So for equal root, all of you know that is b square minus four is equal to zero. So you will get this question. This type of question, hundred percent sure will come in exam. Keep in mind. Okay, hundred percent sure. So here, this is a, this is b, this is c. For quality equation, you know very well, a not equal to 0, a not equal to 0, means here k not equal to 0, okay. Now, b square minus 4ac equal to 0, that is minus 7k whole square, 4k into c means 49 equal to 0. So, 49k square minus 4k into 49, no need to multiply, see, take 49 common k square minus 4k equal to 0. So, you can write k square minus 4k equal to 0. So, k into k minus 4 equal to 0. So, we are getting k equal to 0 or k minus 4 equal to 0, that is k equal to 4. Two values are coming. We only take only this value we are taking. This value we will not take this value. Why? See, k not equal to 0 because quality equation coefficient x square is always not equal to 0. That is k not equal to 0. So here option is given 0, 4, 4 plus minus 4 plus minus 3. So here the answer will be only 4. Keep in mind only 4 answer. Maximum students wrong this type of sum. Okay, don't do afterwards. Keep in mind. Okay, this is quality equation. If constant term is there, just you follow the constant term. What is given? Either zero or other thing. If either then zero, then you can put the value. No problem is there. Okay, here kx square is given, so zero is coming. Don't take zero. Keep in mind. The next one, so it is on question number 8. Question number 8 is given that is 3x square 
minus 5x plus p given is a factor x minus 2 is a factor then what is the value of p okay so right here f x is given f x is given hmm? then p put x equal to 2 f of 2 put the value 3 into 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus p that is 12 minus 10 plus p that is 2 plus p since the factor p plus 2 equal to 0 then we get p equal to minus 2 p equal to minus 2 okay Achha. next one and um arithmetic progression this type of question will get the question okay this type of question will come in exam See, SN, <coughs> sum of n terms, 4n square minus 3n is given. Then, find the common difference of the arithmetic progression, AP. So, this is question number 9. SN is given. Okay. And, common difference find out first. Just you put first, SN means sum of n terms. So write n1, s1, that is 4 into 1 square minus 3 into 1, that is 1. So s1 means sum of 1 terms mean only 1 term. So this is, you can write t1. So t1 equal to 1 where you get it. t2, that is s2 find out. 4 into 2 square minus 3 into 2, that is 16 minus 6, this will be 10. Okay. So keep in mind here, H2 means T1 plus T2 now. So right, T1 plus T2 equal to 10. So T1, 1 is given. 1 plus T2 equal to 10. So T2 are getting 9. Again, S3 find out. S3 means here, 4 into 3 square minus 3 into 3. 36 minus 9. Okay. Twenty-seven. Okay. Now this will be T1 plus T2 plus T3. Twenty-seven. If you don't do nothing matter. So here you're getting one. This is nine. See, look at here. Uh, one. Getting 9. So difference 8 you now. So it will be 17 will come. At least 3 times will equal. Okay. That will be no problem. 9 minus 1, 8. 17 minus 9, 8 also. From here also you will get this value. See? T1, T2. What is given? T1, T2 is there. 10. 10 plus T3. 27. So T3, 10 is coming. Hey, sorry. 17. So here this series is there AP arithmetic progression okay so common difference is 8 okay well, this I'm done most of the students done no problem with it and uh, question number 10 for an AP A equal to 5 D equal to 3 TN equal to 50 find the value of N just remember the formula, I will get the result. Tn a plus n minus 1 into d. Keep in mind. If you remember the formula, you can solve. Otherwise, not possible. Okay. And maximum few students are there, they are not doing anything. So blank is there. Hard paper. 
It's a very easy paper, I make very. And you will get this type of question. Be serious if study all of you. All of you serious if study, you know, you will get, you will not get any good marks. Okay. Very poor marks. Maximum, many students getting poor marks. Keep in mind. So this is given, A is given, wait one minute. A5, the question number 10, A5, D3, Tn50, so Tn, we know, A plus N minus 1 into T, okay, so write A when put 5, N minus 1, D means 3, this is 50, no? so 45, N minus 1 into 3, that is n minus 1 equal to 15, n equal to 16. So option is 16. Okay. As the next one, mm, similarity here. One right angle triangle is given. Many times I discuss in the class, in video class also, live class also, very important theory is there. Okay. See. A, B, C. This is 90 degree. Draw perpendicular. This also 90 degree. This is 8 centimeters given. This is 18 centimeters given. Then find the value of 18. So these two triangles you now, yes, both are similar triangles here. Many times, this some have already discussed many times. One relation is there. Just remember here. First one. A C square equal to C D into C B. Number two relation A D square summon C D into B D. And number three A B square equal to B D into B C. Remember. So here A this was given. No? A defined the value of. So A D square equal to C D into B D. Keep in mind. So A D square, we are getting 8 into 18. So in, so in the square is there. So A D right, square root of this 8 into 18. So in, this centimeter root is there. So, 1 double 4 will be 12 centimeter. Okay. All of you remember this one. Very important question. You will get this type of question this year. Your time this will come in exam. Keep in mind. This type of question is very, very important question is here. Okay. Suppose this is given. Find out this one. This two. Okay. Anything. It can come in the exam. Okay. And this one, question number 12. Question number 12, see, so very common question is there, this is very common question is there. This is median, 
this also median g is given parallel is given this is median and these two are parallel is here so we are still all of you know so look at here ef half of this is this here okay this is the midpoint and this parallel is there if you consider the triangle this one this median is this midpoint though okay so if you draw parallel line is there so already it bisect these two so if it is the midpoint of this that means ef equal to fc equal to kind of half of ec is no simple midpoint theory so and with the help of similarity also you can do no problem is there okay so option b option is correct half of ec and even um, x belongs to natural number is given next question question number 13 so natural number i am um, solving we are getting that is minus 1 minus 1 less 3 plus 4x less 23 this is given so here minus 4 4x Less twenty, no? Yes. Give it a four. Then minus one less equal to x less five. Here x belongs to natural number is given. So start from here one, two, three, four is there. One, two, three, four. Okay. And question number four, fourteen, fifteen. So easy sums are there. Okay. That is. matrix multiplication keep in mind is very easy is the matrix multiplication okay and as the order of the column matrix see all of the column column matrix means uh, here is a into 1 column matrix which one column matrix suppose see suppose 3 4 5 6 is like that so this is column matrix is there if you write Three, four, five, six. This is row matrix is there. So column matrix is okay. Only one column is there. So maybe three, four, five, six. Many row is there. Here many row. Okay. So here is given a min to one. A rows one column. Anything right here. Suppose uh, three, four. See this call column matrix. One, two, three, four column matrix. Three, four, five, six, seven, like that. See no, like that. Uh, this is column matrix. So in general form is given a into one, a cross one. As a remaining one sum, x minus one, x plus two are the factors of one polynomial is given. Most of the students have seen that. Okay, Rapport have seen. Many are doing like that. They put in the value, find the value of a and b, and after they solve. See if factors are there, no. Just you put direct value is there. No need to find the value of a and b. Constant is given. Suppose f x x is q plus ten x square plus a x plus b x minus one and x plus two are the factors are given. Then obviously you know very well f of One always zero, no? and a for minus two always zero is given. Then the solving is the value of a. We no need to find the value a and b here. So you know here a one zero and a two also zero. Okay, so just put the value here. The direct right. So only one second answer is there. A for minus two always zero plus zero means zero. I answer zero is there because zero option is given. Zero option is given. Okay. Okay. Mm, and remaining to question B, x is two i is given. So very easy sum. And quadratic equation um, that is discriminant equal to zero to find the value of m. M one third. 
b square minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. Achha, no more today. Again, next day I will discuss again tomorrow. In live class remaining whatever is left. And few extra sums I will discuss. Okay. Few extra sums I will discuss. Not now today. Um, whatever is left. Next live class is there. I think all of you uh, attend the live class. Keep in mind. Okay. Okay. Bye. No more today.